Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you seven powerful Samsung Galaxy tips and tricks that I use every single day on my Samsung S25 Ultra. But the best part is you can do all of these on most of the other Galaxy devices too. So we'll go over customization option, hidden features that make your phone easier to use, and even a way to block ads across your devices without installing extra apps. So let's just jump right into it. So your first feature is where you can customize your current wallpaper with the theme park module. So your theme park module is a part of Samsung's GoodLock customization suite. It allows you to take your existing wallpaper and automatically extract its color palettes to create a completely matching system theme. So this means your icon, quick panel menu, and even volume sliders can adopt complementary colors based on your wallpaper. You can even fine tune every detail. So from background shades to accent highlights. So the look feels seamless and intentional. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the GoodLock app. Now in the GoodLock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the theme park module. Now here you wanna make sure you're on theme, then tap on create new. This will now use your current wallpaper. And here you can go ahead and tap on current wallpaper, choose a new wallpaper, or you can explore new wallpapers. We'll go ahead and choose our current wallpaper. Now here we can go ahead and choose from all of these different styles. So you've enhance, dynamic, boost, you have other actions. You can crop, you can do some magic eraser, unblur it, move some items. If you have a picture of a portrait, you can go a portrait blur. You can make it pop. So it basically define the clarity. You can sharpen the image, denoise it. You can do some markup. So you can do some pen marks. You can do highlighter, you can add text. You can even add filters. You can do some lighting. At the top here, you can go ahead and do auto framing. So you can go ahead and let it choose the frame for you. So it basically include different crops, zoom levels, and so on. So these are all the different styles you can apply. Next, you can go ahead and choose your ratio. You can go ahead and mirror it, and you can go ahead and make it in landscape. Now, once you're happy with this, you can go ahead and tap on save a copy. And now you can go and tap on next and apply that theme to your existing wallpaper. Go ahead and tap on save, give it a name, and then go ahead and apply this. So your phone won't just look like every other Galaxy out there. It feels like it's truly yours, matching your colors across the interface, which gives you a professional premium vibe while also making it easier on the eyes because nothing feels out of place. So every time you unlock your phone, it feels fresh, coordinated, and tailored exactly to your style. Your second feature is where you can adjust the quick panel icon box size. So in your quick panel settings, you can basically resize these icon box so that more toggles fit in the initial view without expanding the panel. So as you can see, by default, you only see two rows of icons here. However, you can go ahead and expand this so that you can see four icons. So you don't need to go ahead and expand it in order to view other icons. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go and bring down the quick panel menu. Next, we'll go ahead and tap on the pencil icon. Next, we'll go ahead and find this icon box here and we'll go ahead and enlarge this so that we can go ahead and set it so how many rows you want to see. So I'll go ahead and see everything, to be honest. So I'll go ahead and just expand it to the maximum. Now, once that's done, I want to go ahead and move this to the top of the page. So I'll go ahead and select this and move it to the top. Now I'll press done. Now I'll press home. So now when I go ahead and look at my quick panel menu, you will see that the icon box has been expanded and will stay like this as a permanent design. So now from here, I can go ahead and choose any icons I want and then go ahead and press home and then continue on with my task on my Samsung Galaxy device. So this lets you access all your most used settings right away. No extra swipes needed. This basically saves time and makes navigation more smoother. Your third feature is where you have the website option for circle to search. So circle to search is Samsung's and Google's smart on-screen search tool. So normally when you use it, it gives you a mix of images, shopping results, and videos. But with the new website filter option, it can basically detect a website and basically it can take you to that website. So let me show you how to use this. So here we'll go ahead and open up Samsung Notes. In my Samsung Notes, I have a note where I've added a link. Now we'll go ahead and turn on Smart Select. So here we'll go ahead and create a circle around this. 
So as you can see, it has detected that this is a website. So you have a website filter, which has opened up. Now, if you wanna go ahead and open up that website, you can go to just go ahead and click on website. And this will take you to the website, which the link is to. So as you can see, this is my website, which I've created for my simple dad channel. So you can go ahead and visit this website as well to look at all my videos. So this way you basically spend less time scrolling through distractions and more time getting exactly what you're looking for. So whether you're researching, fast checking or looking for articles. So this website filter makes Smart Select much more powerful for your productivity on your Samsung Galaxy device. Your fourth feature is where you can prevent ads on your phone. So inside your phone's Wi-Fi settings, you can basically go to private DNS and enter a URL as your custom DNS provider. So this routes your internet traffic through AdGuard's DNS server, which blocks many ads and trackers before they even reach your phone. So this works not just in your browser, but in many apps as well, without you needing to install any extra apps. So let me show you how to set this up. So here we'll go ahead and open up settings. So here we'll go ahead and first open up connections. Next, we'll go ahead and scroll down and find more connection settings. From here, find private DNS. Now we'll go ahead and use our private DNS. So we'll go ahead and erase this and we'll go ahead and add the address. So it's dns.adguard.com. Save that. And now you can go ahead and browse through your internet. So with this, you get a cleaner, faster experience across the board. The pages load more quickly because they're not loading ad elements. You use less mobile data and you have fewer distractions when browsing. On top of that, it adds a layer of privacy by blocking some tracking scripts that follow you around the web. Your fifth feature is where you have an editing feature called Focus Shift. So Focus Shift in your Samsung Gallery app lets you change the focus point in a photo after it's been taken. So this works especially well with your portrait shots taken in live focus mode or with depth information saved. So you can blur out the background more and bring back the background in focus or sharpen the subject all without retaking the shot. So here is an example. So if I go ahead and open this photo in gallery, then tap on the edit icon. Here I can go ahead and tap on the background information here, or background blur. And now I can go ahead and select the area of a picture that you, I wanted in focus. So let's say for example, I want that plant in focus. I can go ahead and set that in focus. As you can see, this has now become blurred and that has become more in focus but it's still blurred. So like this, you can go ahead and play around with it and try to make the background or the foreground blur. Another example which I wanna show you is where this picture here, where my background is more in focus, however, my foreground subject is not in focus. So if I can go ahead and make this so that I can swap the focus around. So to do this, I'll go ahead and tap on the pencil icon. I'll tap on this blur icon here, the bottom left, and then I can go ahead and choose what I want in focus. So just say, for example, I'm on the foreground focus. I'll go ahead and tap on this. I'll go ahead and adjust the blur level. And once I'm happy, I can go ahead and tap on save. So as you can see, it turns a decent photo into a great one. So for example, if your subject came out slightly blurry, but the background is crisp, you can basically swap the focus to highlight your subject instead. It's like having a DSLR light control without carrying the big cameras. Your sixth feature is where you can auto close tabs on your Samsung internet browser. So in your Samsung internet settings, you can basically set tabs to automatic close after one day, one week, or one month. So this means you don't have to manually hunt down and close old forgotten tabs. The feature runs quietly in the background. So your tab list stays neat without you doing anything. So here, this feature has actually been introduced in the Samsung internet data option. So here, if you go to your normal Samsung internet, you won't be able to see that option. However, you need to go ahead and open up your Play Store. You need to go ahead and search for the Samsung Internet Browser Beta. This is available for everyone, so you can go ahead and download it. So this app is only for new features which are being introduced into the Samsung Internet Browser. And once they see that people are happy with that feature, they'll basically introduce it into the normal Samsung Internet Browser. However, everyone can use it, so you can go ahead and download the Samsung Internet Browser Beta from the Google Play Store. Once installed, go ahead and open it. So there's a new feature called the auto close tabs on your Samsung internet browser. So to enable this, go ahead and tap on the tab icon here. Next, go ahead and tap on the three dots at the top right, and then go ahead and tap on auto close settings. 
Now from here, you can go ahead and choose never to close automatically. Close all those unused tabs after seven days or close it after 30 days. Or with smart tab management, it basically detects if you're not using that, it'll basically close it automatically. So you can go ahead and choose all of these options. Once you've chosen, go back and then go ahead and just browse as normal. So you avoid the frustration of having dozens or even hundreds of old tabs slowing down your browser. It improves your performance, reduces memory usage and keeps things organized so you can focus on the page you actually cared about. And lastly, the seventh feature is where you can choose how to see your tabs on the Samsung internet browser. So Samsung internet browser gives you two main ways to view your open tabs. So you can view them in grid view, which shows thumbnail previews of each page, and you can view them in list view, which shows just the title and the URLs in more compact format. So you can basically switch between them anytime, depending on what's more useful to you. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Samsung internet. As you can see, I've got five internet browsers here opened up. So this is the list view. So you can see the title of the page and you can see the URL. If you want to see the different view on this Samsung internet browser, you can go ahead and tap on the tab view here, tap on the three dots and then tap on view as. Now from here, you've got three different views which you can view from. So you can view it as a list, stack or a grid. So go ahead and choose what you like. So grid view is something like this. Stack view is something like this. So on top of each other. And the list view is as default. So the grid view makes it easier to visually spot the page you're looking for, while the list view is perfect if you have a lot of tabs open and you want to scroll through quickly. So having the choice means browsing stays comfortable and efficient, no matter the situation. And that's it, seven Galaxy tips and tricks I'm using right now on my Samsung S25 Ultra, but you can try these on almost any Samsung Galaxy devices. So if this video helped you out, please like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. It really helps me motivate to keep finding and sharing these tips with you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.